Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program example which will explain you the stack program. We are going to see how the stack algorithm works in detail. So before going to the video, we are going to see the question first. Uh, strange is an entity which can hold at the most 20 integers. So strange is like an array variable array which can hold up to 20 integers maximum. The strange restriction is that an integer can only be added from the top or removed from the top. So here you can see that uh, it is like a pile in China plates where uh, we add a plate to the pile from the top and remove the plate from the top only. So here in nowhere it is given uh, it is a stack program. So how to identify whether it is a stack program or queue program is you can notice this keyword add, add, add from the top and remove from the top. So only stack algorithm does that. Okay, stack will have the concept uh, that is algorithm called LIFO that is last in first out. So the last element which has been pushed uh, pushed will be popped out first. Okay, and it will be done only at the top. Okay, so this is some of the uh, keywords used. We have got some uh, keywords which is in the next slide also. We will explain you so that you know whether it is a stack program or queue program. Because some program they not, they won't give you uh, directly it is a stack or a queue program. So you have to identify that. Okay. Uh, define the class range with the following details. So, I are going to these uh, details, class uh, def definition of the class is given here. So, class name is strange and data members or instance method is given. You got uh, three data members. First one is the array variable ELE, which can hold integer elements. Second is the uh, capacity variable, maximum capacity of the integer array. So, normally when you execute the, this stack program, you are going to ask the user how many elements you want to store. So you are going to, at the execution time, you are going to fix the capacity of the array. You are not going to use all the 20 elements, you are, you, it is a dynamic uh, uh, allocation. So you are going to fix the memory there. Okay. And the third variable is top to point the index of the topmost array. This is a very important uh, variable which will identify whether the stack is empty or it is full or the position of the, uh, the array. Then we got some member methods. Uh, first one is the constructor strange which is a parameterized constructor with the parameter CAP. It is to initialize the data that is data members uh, capacity equal to cap that is the parameter so that becomes the capacity and then top equal to minus one. So here uh, you got another variable top which will be declared as minus one. We will explain you why it is minus one later in the program and also to create the integer array. Then you got two methods. Uh, uh, void push item and void pop item here this is another keyword which will illustrate this is a stack program because the keyword like push and pop is used in stack if it is a queue program you may see some uh, keywords like insert or delete and also you may see some variable uh, 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 values like that is keywords like uh, front or rear in queues here you will see the keyword top push and pop so it indicates it is a uh, constructor program so first we will see what is this uh, void push item which has a parameter a value. This value will be inserted into the stack. Add the integer value to the top of the string if possible. Otherwise so output the message string is full cannot push item. So you are going to uh, take the item checks whether the stack is full. If it is full you are going to display it is full cannot push item or if it is not full you are going to push the item into the stack. Next one is pop item. So it has a uh, return type integer, removes the integer from the top of the strange and returns it if strange is not empty. If the strange is not empty, you are going to return it. That is remove the uh, topmost element and then you are going to display it. Otherwise output the message strange is empty. That is if, the, if there is no element available in the uh, pop item that is in the stack you are going to display this message returning minus 999. So it is given in the question, you are going to just uh, do that. You are going to display that message and also you are going to use a return statement and then return the value that is minus 9999. So you are going to the program and we will explain you how to do this. So in BlueJ I created a program uh, which is a class uh, strange and then I have created uh, three variables. One is the array variable ELE which has the maximum element which can be stored as 20 and the capacity of the uh, array that is stack and also the top. Okay, there is a variable which is going to question. Then you have a constructor which is a parameterized constructor which has the uh, parameter cap which will be stored as uh, stored into capacity variable. So that is a data member capacity equal to cap and top equal to minus one which is given in the question. 
Now we'll go to the next function that is pop item, uh, sorry push item, which has a again a parameter that is the element which you are going to insert, that is push it into the stack. So before pushing into the stack, we'll check whether the stack is full. First time it will not be full, so you can directly insert it. But uh, when you, uh, when the, as the stack grow, grows, it will have a maximum value, which is stored in the capacity. When it reaches that, you are going to show that it is full. So thus, this is a condition you are given here. So if uh, top equal to equal to capacity minus one, why I given minus one is capacity is stored as a parameter. So suppose I am entering five, that is stored in capacity. The element will be stored from zero to four. Okay, so uh, since it is from 0 to 4 and given um, capacity minus 1, when the top value which is the counter uh, counts from zero, minus 1 which is given here already, when you store the first value it will uh, keep on adding to that, when it reaches a capacity it, it indicates that stack is full. So once it is full, you are going to display the message, uh, strange is full, cannot push the item. So this is the message you are going to display. If the stack is not full, you are going to go to the else part. Here you can see ELE uh, within square bracket you can see plus plus top. So now I explain why is this minus one is given. Okay, before since it is given as minus one, the top that is the first value will be stored in the element of the array that uh, which will be stored in the zeroth position. So since it is in the zeroth position, you have to uh, increase the value of top before you store it into the array array variable. So top value is minus one here increases the value before so it becomes zero and then it will store the element into the first uh, first memory box that is ELE of zero. Second time again you push the item it becomes plus plus stop that will become uh, one. So the second element will be stored in ELE of one. Okay, It goes on like that till it reaches the maximum capacity. Next is pop item. Uh, here you have two instances where you will occur uh, when the stack is empty. First instance, instance is, if suppose first time there is no uh, elements available in the stack, you are directly going for pop, uh, then you should not stop, the program should not stop, you are going to check whether the stack is empty or not. First time anyway it will be empty, so it will display, the stack is empty, because the top value is minus 1, it is not altered, so it will be minus 1, so it is going to display that and return the value which is given there. And second instance is, uh, you may have some 5 values or 3 values, you will be popping out one by one. Finally, when it when the stack becomes empty, it again executes this and it will uh, uh, display the message, strange is empty. And returns the, uh, returning this, this is the message given the question. And also, the return value, return statement is used. Suppose the stack is not empty, you are going to remove it. So, how to remove it is, you are going to just return ELE top minus minus so what happens here is uh, suppose if the top value is uh, 4 it removes this uh, removes that and it will alter the value of top by 1 that is it becomes 4 uh, 4 becomes 3 okay actually the element is not removed the top value will be altered okay it is not actually removing the item the top value will be removed so that it won't be displayed on the screen that's it so this is what uh, given in the question been explained I have uh, used some more methods so that uh, I can show you the execution ex execution of the program uh, practically. Okay, This is what I asked in the theory question so you can finish off and stop the program here itself. So since it is a practical uh, execution, I want to show you the output so I am going to display, I am using a display method which executes the uh, uh, array variable, array elements from the last that is stop uh, to zero okay so it goes reverse way because the stock value always have the algorithm which will be stored in reverse order okay <coughs> and then uh, you have a um, uh, public static void main which has an uh, statement enter the capacity of the store that will be the first uh, first statement you are going to enter the capacity of the uh, stack and you are going to store it into the variable n and now I am creating the object and passing it, passing that variable n into the constructor, that is the parameter. So if suppose if I enter 5, so 5 will be the capacity of the stack. Okay. And then I used a loop statement so that to uh, illustrate again and again I no need to execute the program. I am going to do it at a stretch so that I can show you all the functions of the stack. So what are the thing I am going to show you it is? I am going to push the item that is number one 
number two is pop the item and then three is to exit so it is a switch case uh, statement so that every time it keeps on asking you whether to push the item or pop the item or exit the uh, loop so we are, we are going to show you all that in the same program so i use a nested that is a loop statement inside that we are use the switch statement so once you get the choice as the input you are going to first check whether the choice is 3 that is exit if it is exit immediately you break the uh, loop and come out of that okay so first time you may not go for it or if you uh, really go for exit you may you should not face any problem so i am just checking it before itself and then exiting from the loop else you are going to go for the switch case statement that is switch choice if the, it is case 1 that is push item so in push item what i am going to do is i am to get the input from the user so i am going to get the element okay and storing it into num and then call the method that is push item and then pass the number value which you already input okay so that will be taken as the parameter here okay here you can see uh, push item it will be taken as parameter check whether it is uh, full and then it will uh, add it into the stack okay now after that i am going to display it so strange after push operation you are going to display so ob dot display will display the elements as you push the item inside and case 2 you are popping out the element uh, you are going to just call the uh, pop item and then you are going to uh, store it that is you are going to return the value right you are going to store it into the value and you are going to display that okay and then uh, here you can see that uh, after the pop operation is executed you are going to display it. so both times if you are going to push the element you are going to display it also if you are going to pop it you should know whether it has been removed or not right so i am going to display that also so that's it about the program you are going to compile this and close so execute the program so enter the capacity of the stack i am just giving 3 now i have got three options one to push item two to pop item th three to exit so i am going to go for uh, first i will go for two that is pop item so here it doesn't have any item what happens strange is empty returning minus uh, 999 the element popped out is minus 999 and you can see that no uh, elements already stored here so it is empty the uh, stack is empty now i am going for one this is the reason i used while loop so that you keep on executing it now push item so first one is uh, first element i am going to store is 23 so you can see strange after push operations already 23 has been included in the stack again it is asking for whether you want to push the item so i have given 3 so i am going to go for push item again enter the element so i am giving 34 so it, you can see that 23 and then you can see uh, 33 has been included so as per the stack i am displaying it and then again going for 1 so it's a third item so i'm displaying the uh, 45 the third item has been uh, included in the stack you can see here 45 34 and 23 has been included now i am going for push again so already it, i uh, hope that it is full because the capacity given is 3 okay now i am entering the element 56 now you can see that strange is full cannot push item that means i uh, given capacity as 3 so i can max maximum have only 3 items okay 3 elements so here you cannot do that so it is displaying the message and it, you can see that it is not included so that 50 is not included here it is only that three element which has been showing now i am going to use the pop item so press 2 now you can see 50, 45 has been removed the remaining two elements are available next you are going to go for pop again you can see the next item that is 34 so it is removing from the top so it shows that it removing from the top and finally if i want to press i will go for uh, again i will go for uh, two so you can see that it has been uh, removed totally removed 23 has been popped out now again press two so second instance where you will get the same message change is empty okay now i'm going to press uh, exit three for exit okay so this is how the stack uh, concept works it always does the work from the top uh, whether it is inserting or uh, pushing or popping everything will be done on the at the top of the stack hope you understood the program example uh, of a stack operation uh, we will meet you in the next video till then thank you